All right, what we're going to look at here is the idea of the uh, line segment AB that is drawn on a vertical plane over there and a horizontal plane and what that all means. And then they're asking you to find the true length of the line AB. I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. And then they're also asking you to find the true inclination of the line segment to, in this case, the horizontal plane. And in these other views over here, they sometimes ask you to do it in the vertical plane. So what all that means, well, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to actually place a line segment in this drawing. All right, not very accurately, but hopefully you'll be able to get an, sort of an idea as to what we're talking about, the line segment. There is my line segment. I'm going to try and line that up as best I can. Basically on top of that little line that I've got there, you can see that my line is actually forming an angle to the horizontal plane over here, all right? And it's also making an angle to what they call the vertical plane. So there's my vertical plane. If I just fold that up on that x, y axis, there is my vertical plane. And you can see that there is an angle to the vertical plane that I've got over here. What they're wanting to know is what is that true angle in this particular case to the horizontal plane, but they could just as easily ask you what is the true angle of inclination to the vertical plane. Right, in order for me to do that, first of all, that angle over there that you're seeing over there would be an angle to the vertical plane. So, um, uh, sorry, that angle over there would be an angle to the horizontal plane. So I could write HP degrees, okay, that angle over there, but I know that that angle is not a true angle of inclination. Um, for me to get that, I need to have the true length of line um, and then I'd be able to measure the true angle of inclination. So first of all, what I need to do is to try and figure out how to get the measurements so that I can get the true length of that line. The way that I do that, well, I'm going to take measurements of from the xy axis to where b is on the vertical plane, find b1 on the horizontal plane, come down to the new xy axis, which is parallel to that line, okay, it's parallel to the line segment there. I need to take that measurement down over there, place it over there, and I can label that as b3. Note that, that line coming out there is at 90 degrees to the um, to the x, y axis. In other words, I'm looking at that line segment at 90 degrees. If I'm looking at something at 90 degrees, I will end up getting a true length. Right, there's the distance from the x, y axis to A over here. Find A1, come down to the x, y axis, place that down there, label that as A3, and I can now link A3 and B3 up. And you'll see that that line segment is very much longer than those two line segments in those views. And I can then take my little, remember that little piece of straw that I had over there that was sort of casting shadows down onto the HP. If I shine across a, a light across onto the VP, I would end up with that shadow. But as a true length, there is my true length line of that shadow, basically. Right. Okay, um, if I had to go in the opposite direction, in other words, if they'd asked me to find the true angle of inclination to the VP, that over there would be the VP angle, okay? But that's not a true angle. I would then need to take the measurements from here, take it up over there, place it over there. It's going over the question a little bit. Label that B2, same story, go over here to A1, find A, go up there, label that A2, and I can now draw in a true length of line. Note, it's a true length. There is a true length. Using the information from the vertical plane, coming down onto the, onto the uh, true length over here, and over here I've got a true length of line, just using the information from the uh, horizontal plane, and moving up over there. Right, once I've got that in place, what I need to do is I need to draw the, or measure the true angle of inclination. So I'm going to take my set squares, line it up on the x, y axis, 
slide it across, and I'm going to draw in a line, just a construction line coming across there, and I can now measure with my protractor what that angle is. Take that, measure that angle off. You normally have to extend that line out just a little bit so that you can read the angle using your protractor. Go back again, measure that off, and I end up with, looks like 27 degrees or thereabouts. 27 degrees, 28 degrees, sorry, 28 degrees. Let's just write that in over here. 28 degrees, and I draw in a little arc with arrowheads on either side to mark that. You can mark that as TL, and you can then measure the tree length and tell me what that is. Right, that is what we really need over here. First of all, make sure that you've got an XY axis, which is parallel to the line segment that you're wanting to use. Make sure that these lines are coming off at 90 degrees to that XY axis, um, and then measuring from the opposite um, line segment and carrying that information down. So you've got that measurement from the XY axis is the same as from the XY axis to the new point that you are going to make. Same story over there. XY axis to A, find A, go down to the new XY axis and plant the new point. Same distance from the new XY axis. Right, that is how you go about doing this sort of thing. I'm going to try and do three other methods um, just uh, showing you different ways of doing this. Right, to get the line segments in the right places, um, uh, this question, it says project the true length of line segment AB and the true inclination of the line segment to, of the AB to the horizontal plane. Where is my angle to the horizontal plane? That would be this story over here, but I know that that horizontal plane angle is not going to be the true angle of inclination. I need to use the information from that in order to find that. What I need to do is to take my two set squares, line them up on the line segment over here. I'm going to pull it back. And I'm going to draw a XY axis, which is parallel to the line segment. And then drag it back a whole lot more. I can take this set square off while holding that down firmly, drag it around here, and lining it up on the end of the line there, you can see that I've got a line that is going to come off at 90 degrees. If that line is not going off at 90 degrees, please don't use it. It is not going to give you the right um, information. Right, so 90 degrees. Once I've got that in place, I can then take the, these measurements over here, off this vertical plane, bring it down, there's A, go down to the new XY axis, mark that off, label it A2 over there, information from vertical plane, take it down over here to the horizontal, take it across to new XY axis, mark it off, B2, there is the line segment that we're needing, showing the true length, label it T2, L. I then ask you to take your set square, line it up on the XY, slide it back over here, draw in an, a line over there, and just extend this out with a construction line so you can measure that angle. Take your protractor, place it on that point over there, and measure off whatever the angle is. I think that I'm getting uh, 16 degrees or thereabouts. So right in 16 degrees, draw in that little arc with the two little arrows on either side to get all your marks. Right, the next drawing over here, I'm going to show you another method that can be used, um, which is quite easy. Um, you just need some masking tape in order to do this method. Release your piece of paper from the board. Uh, it says that you need to project the true length of the line segment, and they want the true inclination of the line segment to the VP. Okay, that angle over there is the 
an angle to the VP, but it's not the true angle of inclination. I need to use the information of this side and project in that direction. I'm going to line my ruler up on the line segment that I'm wanting. Use some masking tape to tape it down. Um, you can now draw an XY axis, which is going to be parallel to that because your ruler is lined up with that line. And I can now take my set squares and draw lines coming off there. There's some construction lines coming off there like that. I can now take measurements from this horizontal plane over here. Take that up over there, mark that off, get A2 and get B2. Notice I'm measuring from the XY axis. That measurement from the XY axis is the same as that measurement from the XY axis. There's B2 now. That is the true length of that line segment. Draw that in. Nice and dark from there to there. And then just use a construction line. Take your ruler, your T-square at least, shift it up to where A2 is over there. Draw a construction line coming across there. Measure with your protractor. And you should be able to get... Uh, it says 33 degrees or thereabouts. 33 degrees, is that right? 10, 20, 30, 33 degrees. So I'm going to write in 33 degrees over there. Draw that little arc in with the two little arrows. Everybody will be happy with that. Right. The last method that I'm going to teach you is um, using a, an, an adjustable set square. The question over here, it says project um, the true length for AB and the true inclination for the line segment to the vertical plane. There is the VP angle, okay, but that's not the correct angle. I need to obviously project up like that in order to use that information. Um, I'm going to use my adjustable set square over here. The way that we do that, let's just move this up slightly so that you can see it. Right, there we go. Let's paste that down. Take your set square, your adjustable set square, and you line it up so that it is in line with the line over there. Right, once you've got that, slide that across. That's going to give you the parallel line, which we can label as X and Y. And then you can Slide it across like that, and you have lines that are going to come across at 90 degrees to your XY axis um, using your adjustable set square. I can now take the measurements from the horizontal plane over here, move it up over here, find the XY axis, place that down there, label that as A2, take the measurement from XY axis to B1, Find B, go up to the new X, Y axis, mark it down as B2, and draw a line going between those two points, which is the true length line of that line segment. Label it TL, and you can then just extend that line out a little bit so that we can measure the angle. Extend it out there. Take your adjustable set square, draw a line coming from B2 over there, and I can now measure that angle using my protractor over here. There we go. And that is giving me, I think, 19 degrees, uh, 20, 24 degrees or something like that. So I'm going to just push that in there, little arrows, and put 24 degrees over there. Right, there we go. That is that.